Hi, welcome. We're going to do homework three. Here we go. Now, my suggestion is to use Desmos to check and or to understand the relationship. So let's take a look here. There's a relationship when it looks like this, in this form, between the center of the circle. And so we notice that when we type this into Desmos, that the center of the graph happens to be at this coordinate. And so if it looks like this, that's where the center ends up being. So the relationship is that if we see a positive number here, we see a negative number or vice versa. If we see a positive, we see a negative. And also the number is the same. Additionally, this equation comes from Pythagorean theorem. So notice that we could also write this. And so where we're getting it here is that the center is that number with the sign flipped, and this is the radius squared. So we can think of this as coming from Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared is c squared, but also our base formula would be x squared, the x value we would call our a, and whatever the y value we would call our b, and the c would end up being our radius squared. So this is the most generic formula where the center is at 0, 0, and the radius is whatever number is there. And so the relationship we find is that wherever the number is there, that's actually not my radius, it's my radius squared. So if the number 4 is the radius squared, and I took the square root of both sides, I noticed that my radius would have to be 2. Okay, everything, hopefully these concepts are making sense now, and if everything makes sense, we can go ahead and graph it. So if the center is at 1, negative 3, and the radius is at 2, we can say that if the center's there and we go 2 to the left, 2 to the right, 2 up, 2 down, that's where we would graph it. But make sure that you're showing your center and your radius, that's the part that I can grade. It's hard to kind of grade everyone's pictures. Everyone's pictures look a little weird, but make sure you're listing these two things. Okay, next problem. If this is my equation, and I type that in Desmos, the center would be graphed at two, negative one, noticing this relationship. And our radius squared here is 16. That would give us the radius as the square root of 16, also known as the number 4. So this is enough information to graph. If the center is here and the radius is there, I can graph this picture. 2, negative 1, and the radius is 4. So 4 to the left, 4 to the right, 4 up, 4 down. You are Desmos. There's our circle. Let's try number three. So I notice it's in the format I like, and so I can find the center coordinate using this relationship of one and negative four. My radius, I'm tempted to divide by two, but that doesn't make sense. In fact, my radius here, my radius squared is nine. So that would mean but if I square rooted both sides, the square root of 9 is my radius, and the square root of 9 would be 3. So I can graph that. The center is 1, negative 4, and my radius is 3. And I'm Desmos. So if you're uncertain, go ahead and type this into Desmos, and this should be the picture they show you. Again, though, make sure for me to be able to grade your homework that you're showing the center and the radius, okay? That's what the directions say. It said identify the center and the radius, then sketch it, okay? So make sure for full points you're listing that. All right, last one here on the front. And I noticed this has come up a couple times in class. It doesn't look the way I want it to look. So I'm actually going to redraw it. So the left side, if it looked like this, it would be obvious to see the same relationship. The center would be at zero, positive three. Zero, positive three. 
Now, thinking logically, this should be the same thing as that because any number minus zero would still just be that number. So I have my center, and hopefully when I write it like this, it's easier to see that the relationship is the same. Now for my radius, my radius is not 14. Just like up here, my radius wasn't 16. My radius squared is 14. So technically, if I square root the both sides, I get the square root of 14. And that's not a number we recognize because that's an irrational number. It's a number that just keeps on going. So technically, if I wrote the radius is the square root of 14, that's the most exact answer. But if uh, we want to know, because we need to know to graph it, about what is it? So it's about 3.7. So the radius is about 3.7, and that we can graph, just kind of rough. So my center here is at 0, 3, and my center is about almost 4, not quite 4 to the left, not quite 4 to the right, not quite 4 up, not quite 4 down. That's a circle of a radius of about 3.7. Awesome. Now for the back of our homework. I'm noticing here that you have two possibilities. Now on a test, you don't have Desmos, but you're doing your homework, so you're home. You could type this into desmos.com and figure out uh, from the picture what's the center, what's the radius, and then come up with the equation. We're going to use the algebra we learned today in class to make it look the way I want. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to a piece of paper because I need to do a bunch of algebra here and copy down question five. And I'm just going to staple this to my homework I'm going to turn in. So using my notes, we notice that if I can collect the two x values and make a square, and if I can collect the y terms and make a square, then I will be able to find out the center coordinate if I can do that. Okay, so that's the steps we need. But I need everybody on the same side. So I'm gonna add 8x squared to this side and rewrite the problem. So I like x squared going first. So x squared plus the 4x, those are my x terms, and then I have this y squared minus 2y, those two terms, and then I still have this negative 20, and over here I now have 0 because if I add those I get 0. So this looks a little bit more like the problems we practiced in class. If I kind of look at my notes, I did one algebra step in order to make it look like the problems we practiced. Okay, now, just like we practiced, I'm gonna collect the x values and make a square. Okay, so I have x times x is x squared. And if I divide 4x in half, I get 2x and 2x. So that's where that 4x came from. That must mean that a 2 and a 2 were there, and so to complete my square, I need the number 4. Okay, so I'd like to rewrite these two terms, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Notice the plus 4 was not there. I just totally added that. It was not there at all. So I'm going to have to add it here to the other side in a minute. Now the reason why I wrote this is I want to be able to write the description of this picture and another way to describe this blue picture right here would be to write x, x plus 2 squared. So this blue picture is x plus 2 times x plus 2 and that is x plus 2 squared. This picture is also these three terms, x squared plus the 2x and a 2x makes 4x and plus 4. So that makes my square. That's exactly what we want. Now we're going to do the same thing to our y values. So I have y squared minus a 2y, and I'm going to make a green square, y times y, and half of negative 2 is a negative 1. 
So that's negative 1y minus another negative 1y would give me a negative 2y. And so to complete the square, I need the number negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So here we had y squared minus 2y plus 1. That's the number I had to add to make the square. And another way to describe this picture, one way is to describe it this way once we complete the square. Another way is to describe the square is y minus 1 times y minus 1, otherwise known as y minus 1 squared. Now I can't forget that there's still this negative 20 and equaling 0. And remember, I added 4 to the left, so I'm going to have to add 4 to the right. And I added 1 to the left, so I'm going to add 1 to the right. That's what I got here. So I'm getting close to knowing what the radius is. That would be 5. And so if I just keep on going a few more steps here, if I add 20 to both sides, I get 25. And I really do like that a lot. because this stuff squared plus this squared equals my radius squared. So my radius squared is 25, which means my radius is actually the square root of 25, which is the number 5, and that's what I need to graph, okay? And I also know my center must be negative 2, positive 1. Check out the next video where I graph it and go to the next.